Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about makeup I've hit pan on. So I tend to film these types of videos. I do one every year at like the end of the year, tell you guys everything I hit pan on that year. But I also like to throw them in periodically, partially because I just love talking about makeup with pan in it. But also I feel like it's good inspiration. I love watching these types of videos and I always get really excited when I hit pan on something because that means that I'm using up the makeup that I have, nothing's going to waste. But I also like sharing these because it lets you know what I'm loving enough to reach for consistently. So some of these items I've hit pan on in my project pan and then some of them just kind of happened. So if you're new here, hello, my name is Kelly. I do also do a project pan every single year. So I'll leave my project pan playlist linked down below if you wanna watch more videos about panning. So I hope I'm not forgetting anything. I was going through all my drawers like, did I get all of them? But the first one, this is one in my empties bin right now. I'm gonna be doing a big empties extravaganza pretty soon here showing a lot of products I've used up in the last few months. And you will see this in there. This is from Milani. This is called the Prep Set and Glow Powder. This one I hit pan on earlier this year and now it's completely used up. I actually like this powder a lot, but I think it's being discontinued. Whenever I try to link it, I can never find it, which is a bummer because it's such a good pressed powder for someone with dry skin that doesn't want something too heavy and want something kind of, I don't want to say glowy because it's not glowy, but it doesn't set your products down too too much. It's not too heavy duty, so it just looks very natural and it lets the glow shine through. With this one, I hit pan on it and then I had to repress it. So I actually have a video I'll leave linked down below sharing how I repress products. I do that anytime something breaks, you know, if I drop it and I need to repress it, I will of course do that. But otherwise, when my products get, where, what am I trying to say? When there's hardly any left and it's just kind of around the edges, it's so hard for me to pick up on a brush, so that's when I repress it to put it in the middle so I can pick it up a bit easier. So if you're not sure how to do that, it's so simple. I'll leave that video linked down below, but this is the first one. An unexpected one is this highlight. This is from Persona Cosmetics. This is the shade Zuma. This, do you guys remember, this was like my favorite go-to highlight for a while there. Now, I still think it's a beautiful highlight. The pan is right here. It's kind of hard to see on camera. Still love this highlight, but my highlighter preferences have changed from wanting my highlight to be seen from space to wanting it to not really look like I'm wearing highlights. So night and day, and this is a little bit more blingy. So because of that, I don't find myself wearing it as often these days as a highlight. I do also have their highlight in Laguna though, which is a lighter shade. That one is like less intense for some reason. So I've been wearing that one more often. But with this, I use it all the time as eyeshadow for my very simple makeup looks. It's one of my favorite single eyeshadows, even though it's a highlight. So it was very much an accident that I hit pan on this. One day I was getting ready. I had put some bronzer in my crease and I was like, well, let me use Zuma as my eyeshadow today. And I dipped in with my finger and bam, there was the pan. With some products, once I hit pan, I think that I want to use them up or I could use them up. With this, I don't know that I'll ever get to the point that I use it up. There's still a ton of product here, especially around the sides, but it was very exciting to hit pan on. One that I will use up, especially if you're watching my Project Pan series, I have this little mini individual highlight from Ciate London. I think they're discontinuing this. Such a mistake, it's so good. But this is just a single pan. The reason I have just the pan and not the compact that it comes in is because I won this at a beauty event. So this was, it must have been 2019 and I went to go to Ipsy Live and there was a Ciate London booth and you could spin the wheel and then whatever landed on, you won. So I won this highlight, which in the moment I remember being like, oh, okay, well I have a lot of highlights. I wasn't too excited about it. There was something else that I was really hoping to win and I can't remember now. But then I got home and I was like, well, let me try it, you know, just to have an opinion on it, a reference point. As a review channel, it's nice for me to know different formulas. So I thought, let me test it out. It wowed me. I love it so much. I'm wearing it today. It's more of that in the middle highlight. It's not too glowy that you can see it from space, but it's not too subtle. But I feel like you can kind of manipulate it to the finish that you want. So if you use a really dense brush, you can get more of that intense look. Or if you take a fluffier brush, you can tone it down. I've got pretty big pan on this and I know that I'm gonna have this used up very soon. Within a few months, mark my words, this will be an empty pan. A double pan, Mary Luminizer. So the reason I'm saying a double pan, I had pan in this years ago, 
then I repressed it, like I mentioned earlier in the video. Actually, the video where I teach you guys how to repress, you will see this from when I repressed it the first time. So after that, I went back to using it pretty frequently and I have hit pan on it again. So this is my second pan here. There's not a ton of product left. I mean, there's enough that it could last you for a while, but I have hit pan on this twice now, like I said. So there's definitely not too, too much along the sides. I have this vision that one day I will use this up completely. Uh, I've never used up a highlighter completely. This is gonna be the one but maybe I'll be able to do it th with this one as well. I don't know. This was my first ever highlight purchase. Whenever I say that, I get so many comments from you guys saying it was your first highlighter purchase as well. It's a classic. I love her. Another highlight. Yes, I have hit pan on three highlights this year after I just got done saying I don't like that much highlight. I don't get it. I don't get it either, but I also hit pan on this highlight. This is from Pixie. This is their Glowy Gossamer Duo in Subtle Sunrise. This one, it's hard to see. Even when I show you guys up close, I feel like it's not as noticeable because the pan is like the waffle texture, so it's not really shiny. You can't really see the pan there, but it's there and it's pretty big. So I've got the pan on this side. I don't have a ton of use on this side, but this is a really great highlight. If you want more of that almost creamy texture from a powder, like it looks... It doesn't look powdery on the skin. It kind of morphs in with your skin, but you can take this to a pretty bold level or you can wear it with more of a slightly lit from within effect. I mean, it's a little bit more bold than that, but it's beautiful. We have a bronzer as well. This one kind of shocked me that I hit pan on it relatively quickly. So this is from Wander Beauty. This is a duo. I've hit pan on the bronzer, but not a ton on the blush. I put this into my project pan in January, and at that point, it was almost unused. Like, I had reached for it a few times. It had been in a couple of Shot My Stash rotations, but I did not have that much use on this product. So I thought it would take me a majority of the year to hit pan on this, but I actually hit pan on it a couple of months ago. So the pan is pretty small, but you can see there's like little spots missing where the center rings are and that's kind of a little baby pan this is actually such a good bronzer formula and i was so happy that i put it in my project pan because it made me realize how much i liked this like i said i had not used it that much before and i'm not sure why but kind of encouraging myself to use it very frequently made me realize that it's such a good bronzer. And that's one of the reasons I love project panning because sometimes it allows me to fall in love with products that I forgot about or maybe I wasn't that interested in. Sometimes it can completely change my opinion on a product. Sometimes even for worse, I might think I love something and put it in a project pan and then after using it so consistently, I realize, wait, I actually don't love this. So if you're watching this thinking you wanna do your own project pan or you wanna learn more about it, I have a video all about what it is, how to do it, why to do it. So I'll leave that link down below along with my project pan playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll go ahead and see you in my next one. Bye.